And now we can move on to question number three. Is ethyl acid a polar or nonpolar solvent? Okay, so let's first recall the definition of what a polar compound is. So polar compounds are typically asymmetric. Asymmetric. And they tend to involve atoms with differences in electronegativity. Okay, so let's look at ethyl acetate. So I'll first draw out the structure of ethyl acetate. So It will have a carboxylic functionality between uh, two carbon groups. So this ethyl refers to the two carbon chain that is on the side of the oxygen that isn't attached to the double bond. And the acetate part is due to the one carbon that is attached to the double bonded oxygen. So this is ethyl acetate. So let's notice its structure. You'll notice that it's not symmetrical. And also, Let's recall that oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So we can actually draw out dipole moments pointing in the direction of the oxygen atoms that kind of look like this. So because of all of these different factors, we can say that ethyl acetate is polar. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. To answer this question, we need to review first the concept of polarity in a molecule. Nonpolar compounds will be symmetric, meaning all of the sides around the central atom are identical, bonded to the same element with no unshared pairs of electrons. So this is an important um, thing to note. So let's say I'm going to draw again, we had water. which looks symmetrical in theory. But again, oxygen is more electronegative than the two hydrogens, so I can draw a dipole moment pointing towards the direction of oxygen, making it have a partially negative side there, partially positive side here. So the oxygen also has two lone pairs. So this is also what makes it kind of bent, and therefore it is also polar. Um, they continue on to say, on the other hand, 
polar molecules are asymmetric, either containing lone pairs of electrons and a central atom, like the water molecule here, or having atoms with different electronegativities bonded, like ethyl acetate there. So to, to determine the polarity of ethyl acetate, we need to examine its 3D structure. So they drew it out as well. Ethyl acetate contains two polar bonds, two carbon-oxygen bonding. The bond dipoles of these two do not cancel out. Moreover, the two oxygen distributes its electron differently uh, because one of them is double bonded. From the definition above, ethyl acetate is a polar solvent. Oops, so this solution is correct. Thank you.